Welcome back to Patient Knowledge. I'm Dr. Kirmani and today's topic is calcium. So let's get straight into it. In this video, I will give you information about calcium. Uh, what are its functions? How, what are the important signs and symptoms to look for in calcium deficiency? And some of the most vulnerable group in the community that can develop calcium deficiency, how it is diagnosed, and at the end, there's a list of calcium-rich foods to be included in your diet. Calcium deficiency is also known as hypocalcemia, and it's a global health issue because people around the world are not getting enough calcium from their diets. The U.S. Surgeon General had warned that by 2020, 50% of people over the age of 50 will be at risk of osteoporotic fractures. If your body doesn't get enough calcium to keep its bone of uh, base functions running smoothly, it will leach from your bones to make up the shortfall. Long-term deficiency can deplete your bone mineral density and can develop bone conditions such as osteopenia or osteoporosis. Calcium deficiency in children can cause rickets, which is another bone condition. Now let's see what calcium does to our body. It plays a vital role in blood clotting. It helps regulate our muscle contraction, including our heartbeat, and also helps build strong bones and teeth. Now the signs and symptoms of calcium deficiency. Since calcium is so critical throughout the body, low calcium symptoms can show up anywhere and can manifest in different ways. Symptoms may vary from mild to severe if it's left untreated. One may not even have any symptoms at an early stage. So depending upon the symptoms, I have categorized them into minor and major. Some of the minor symptoms range from numbness, tingling fingers, muscle cramps, lethargy, poor appetite, weak or brittle fingernails, to difficulty swallowing, and even fainting. If left untreated, it may lead to a lot of other severe symptoms that can affect our brain, our tooth, uh, can interfere with blood clotting, can affect our bones, and even our heart. It can cause mental confusion, irritability, depression, and anxiety. Tooth decay, insufficient blood clotting, it can cause bone fractures, uh, can lead to osteopenia or osteoporosis. In children, it can cause growth and developmental delays and can affect the heart as well, such as uh, causing fluctuations in blood pressure and irregular heart rhythms. Now, there are some uh, people who are the most vulnerable of getting calcium deficiency. Um, some of them are adolescent girls and boys because they are growing and they need extra calcium for their bones. They do not get enough calcium from their diet. Menopausal women and women over 50 is because the calcium absorption is interfered or is not sufficient because of the hormonal imbalance. A men over 70, vegans, and people with dairy intolerance uh, may not get enough calcium from their diet. Now, the diagnosis is confirmed by doing a blood work, which may show low vitamin D, low calcium, and low parathyroid hormone. The doctor may also order DEXA scan to rule out osteoporosis. The good news is it's preventable by adding calcium-rich foods in your diet which may have bone friendly nutrients. Now the calcium supplements uh, can be taken and about 19 to 64 year olds, they also only need 700 milligrams of calcium daily. Now here are some calcium rich foods, include them in your grocery list and start eating them on a daily basis. They are milk cheese and other dairy products, green leafy vegetables such as curly kale, okra and spinach, Soy drinks which are fortified with calcium, bread and anything that's fortified with flour, uh, fish where you eat the bones such as sardines and pilchards, figs, broccoli, oranges, dried fruits, nuts, seeds and pulses. That's all for today. I hope this information was useful in understanding everything about calcium. If you want more such kind of videos, support my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing it. If you want to hear something, leave it in the comment box below. Bye for now.